HLS Show Me How, pulling website RSS feeds into Microsoft Teams. Hi, I am your host, Michael Giannotti, and I am a healthcare and life sciences technology specialist with the Microsoft Corporation. So uh, this morning I woke up and a colleague of mine said that a customer of theirs, very large, uh, well-known university, um, for their intranet site, or excuse me, for their intranet team, they have teams uh, rolled out to their organization. And uh, for that, they wanted to have an RSS feed pull from the blog site that we run at HLS because of all the modern collaboration. So I'll just go to real quickly, aka.ms slash HLS blog, and we'll pull that up and we'll take a look at the site. And so, and of course, I'm running in the, the new Edge preview um, in here. Oh, I did not want to learn more. We'll go back. I don't care about the cookies. There we go. All right. So um, while I'm in here, uh, you can see here's this site. We have all these articles. But if we come down here under options, you'll note there is a subscribe to the RSS feed. Now, it brings up this page. It is XML. So if you look here, um, that's how it's delivered. And it says, uh, we have does not have any style information. That's fine because what we're going to do is take this particular URL. We're going to copy it and come back to our teams. And we have here under our, this is in a demo uh, team of mine and a demo tenant, but I have here Contoso IT, right? So they're a group that's doing things. And we've set up a channel called Collaboration Conversations. Now in this, we want to pull information from this website around collaboration to be able to have conversations and reply and do things around that and spur conversations within our IT group around this. Now, you might do this for anything. It could be a medical journal site. It could be all kinds of uses. But what we're going to do is we want to come in and we're going to select the Add a tab. Now you'll note there's nothing really here that helps us, but if we go to more apps, which is gonna open up the connector view, we can do a search on RSS. And there we go. So here we have an RSS utility connector. We're gonna go ahead, select that. It says add it to which team? To Contoso IT. It's the team that was open, right? And it says get notifications right in a channel. So we're gonna say install. Then it says, first pick the channel where you want to use the app. And we were already in collaboration conversation. We could add it to different channels. We're not going to do that. So the next thing is, it says to set it up. So we're going to select that. And we're going to get a little pop up here. There we go. It's going to go and do a search. Yes. And we want to enter a name for this. And I'll just call this HLS blog you can name it whatever you'd like the address for the rss feed and then how often do you want it to go ahead and receive or pull that kind of information right so we've got here every 15 minutes every 30 minutes every hour every six hours we don't want a whole lot of chatter in here i'm just going to go ahead and say daily right once a day to spark some conversations and around that or i could even say weekly but we'll go ahead and say daily i'm going to click save it's going to now process this. It's going to connect out to that feed. It says now that it's configured. If we go ahead and close this, you'll note that what do we have? Well, we have our first feeds in here, right? It says, first of all, that we've set up this connection, what the digest name is, and here is that RSS feed. So now we have a whole slew of messages. So now we can begin conversations around these. You can say, this is some great stuff we all need to read to keep up to date okay and we could do whatever we want but here you go so we've gone ahead we've added some commentary we can begin a dialogue around these particular ones there's links directly to the story if we click them boom there we go and we see it takes us straight into that particular post, right? This was on provisioning a custom learning site in SharePoint Online. That's pretty, pretty cool and important, I think, with the university. In this case, maybe their medical school, that would be an important piece. So, 
you know, very simple, very easy to set up using the RSS feed. So that was it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Adding an RSS feed to a channel in a Microsoft team can be a powerful way to you know, keep up to dates for conversations, get the juices flowing around what's the latest and the greatest. I have folks asking me all the time, how do I keep up with stuff, Mike? How do we keep up with what you're posting on your blog or what Microsoft's putting out? RSS is the key. You can use the RSS connector, add it to a channel, and then you'll not only get those notifications, but you can have conversations with your teammates around it. So with that, this is Michael Gennady from Healthcare and Life Sciences. And if you have questions and want to know more about Modern Workplace and Microsoft and things that can be done, go ahead and ping me and my colleagues where you'll find all of us as well as live events. We just had a Microsoft Teams week, so all the recordings are up for that. Prior to that, we had SharePoint week. And next month in May, we're going to have Microsoft Stream and live event days. So, you know, keep up to date. You can find us at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. With that, this is Mike Giannotti bidding you have a great day. Take care. And as always, ciao.